Good morning, folks. My words, my opinion. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Like. Tell your friends, share. All right, people. It's getting deep out there. All right. What is it? Woke media panic. Hollywood doesn't want you to see this film. Ooh. Um, sound of freedom. Now, Variety says it's, uh, let's see, what did they say? Solidly made. Disquieting thriller. Well, that's because of the subject matter. But people, I mean, these people, whoever did this, is use your brain. Hollywood doesn't want you to see this film. Well, then, why did Hollywood make it? <laughs> okay. All right, this film was made, I think they finished it in 2018. The company that made it was bought by Disney in like 2019 or something. And so what? It took four years before. When did they sell it to this distribution company? Okay. If Hollywood didn't want you to see this movie, then why did they sell it? If, you know, they're making the elude. They're they're inferring that Hollywood is, I don't know, the capital of PDFs or some garbage like that. And that they don't want you to know that there's human trafficking going on well like i say then it would have been burnt up in a in somebody's backyard fire i mean to sit there and say that hollywood doesn't want you to see it but yet here it is and we're all looking at it because hollywood sold it well i don't think you can sit there and say they didn't want you to see it but what we have here the red scare back in the 50s all right even the young kids should have studied it in history. McCarthy, the senator that was using communism to scare people to support him and his committee. You got communists. They're everywhere. They've infiltrated us. We've got to weed them out. Well, now we got PDFs everywhere. Hollywood. They're everywhere. We got to weed them out. And I agree 100%. All right. Get these little cockroaches out of the dark and squash them. Anybody that makes a dollar off of human flesh. I got no patience for it, no sympathy for them. Throw the book at them, throw a key away if they make it to prison. Tell you what, you put them in prison, they won't last in the population long at all. And even in protective custody, they'll get to them. But the point I'm saying is they're trying to scare you just like they did back in the 50s with communism. They're trying to scare you with PDFs to recruit to their side. That's what McCarthy did. By saying this, he was getting support until finally, after so many people got sick of it, somebody finally stood up and said, the emperor has no clothes. All right. Yes. Human trafficking is a problem. Is it organized? I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. All right. But yeah, what this guy did, the person that this movie is based on, he did the same thing the TV show did. All right. He's got a group. They get on the computer and they pretend to be a child. And then they lure these predators, these little sickos out, and then they bust them. That's great. That's fine. 100%. But they were saying that the movie doesn't show that it's an organized cabal, you know, with distribution in every country. No, it didn't, didn't prove that. It's based on a true story. All right. So that means there's a real man and he does this. And then I don't know what artistic, you know, they took with it because when they were making Backdraft and. And uh, Russell comes out of, with a scene with his turnout gear open, the axe and the kid. You know, one of my chiefs who was working as a consultant with Ron Howard looked at Ron and said, hey, Ron, we don't we can't we don't do that. And Ron said, well, there's the way you do it. And there's the way we sell the movie. All right. So how much of selling goes on in this movie? I don't know. I mean, there's other movies I've seen where they have uh, human traffickers and you always love it when they get popped. <laughs> OK. But let's not fall for the scare. There's, there's, to sit there and say the left is, you know, a bunch of PDFs is the same garbage that's always been sold. Don't fall for it. And then when you want, they want to tell you that, oh, the media is trying to connect QAnon to this movie so you don't go see it. No, Clavel's doing that. Jim Clavel is, he goes to QAnon meetings as a speaker, gets up there, and he's the one that started this, uh, a drama, what is it? adrenochrome garbage okay where he says well what these traffickers do when the kids right before they know that they're going to be killed the kids 
the adrenaline gets produced. And that's what these, these traffickers want. They want the adrenochrome. And then they go in and then they take the adrenal chrome from the, these kids. And then they like, what, sell it to rich people. I saw that movie too. I don't know if it was the adrenaline or the thyroid gland or something they were going for. Okay. But yeah, Jim Clavell's the one doing this. He got up there and he, he took, he acted out the scene for Braveheart where Braveheart is, you know, riding up and down the, the forces, his men trying to rally them for the fight. And he's like, all right, men, we've got to go. You can leave now. But if you do, you won't die today. You'll die in your bed 20 years from now. And you'll give anything to come back to this day. As they fight with me. You want to die in bed? And he, he acted this, this scene out, but nobody knew he was doing this. It was just, he was trying to rally the troops, doing a scene from Braveheart. I mean, you got me, people, but yeah, we got a problem. Uh, we need to weed out the sex traffickers, the human traffickers, and squash them. And we also, I think, after seeing some of this, need to improve our mental health facilities and address we do have a major mental health issue here in the United States that needs to be addressed. My words, my opinion. Have a good day, people. I do appreciate you.